Now, moving on, beneath the rugged landscapes of Ethiopia, ancient forces are constantly changing beneath the surface. A colossal volcanic eruption in the country has ripped through the earth. Our next story explains how there is a slow but relentless tearing apart of Africa's crust. Take a look at this next report for all the details. A silent monster is waking beneath Africa and the continent is starting to crack. In Ethiopia, the Haile Gubi volcano erupted on Sunday. It sent a cloud of ash and smoke high into the air, prompting flight cancellations as hot clouds drifted toward other countries as far as India and China. The long dormant Haile Gubi volcano, located in the Afar region near the Eritrean border, erupted for the first time in nearly 12,000 years. But in this specific case, since it is Ertali range, uh, which is uh, Ertali is a magma, leak, as you know. So the magma is not uh, very deep, it is just close to the surface. So this eruption went off uh, with no much earthquake activity. But it, but it was energetic enough to cause a very huge plume, uh, volcano, volcanic plume in the atmosphere. Volcanoes, faults and fire are rewriting the map of our planet in real time. And now, scientists say a brand new ocean is being born under our feet. A dramatic geological shift is ripping through East Africa. A tear so vast, it could redraw global geography. Deep inside Ethiopia's Afar region, one of the world's hottest volcanic zones has revealed the raw mechanics of how a continent splits. Massive fissures are carving the earth apart, and the ground is stretching like pulled dough. Over the next five to ten million years, geologists project that the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will flood the entire 6,000-kilometer-long rift system the Horn of Africa will become a massive island continent. Landlocked nations like Uganda and Zambia will find themselves with entirely new coastlines. Scientists say the process mirrors the early stages of the Atlantic Ocean's formation. What we are witnessing today is how continents die and how new worlds are born. Even more astonishing, satellites now track Africa's slow motion breakup by the millimeter. The rift grows every year, widening along a 3,000-kilometer fault line from Mozambique to Ethiopia. Entire nations may someday stand on opposite sides of a future sea. The earth is moving, the map is changing, and humanity is watching the birth of a new ocean live in real time. Bureau Report, V on, World is One.